Hello everyone. Let's study about a new chapter from physics, class eight. So the chapter is matter. First, we are going to read definition of matter. So we know the definition of matter. So we have read in the class sixth also, class seventh also. So now we are going to learn the definition of matter again. All right. The matter is something which occupies space and has mass and can be perceived by our senses. So, what is matter? Very important definition. I hope you all know that. So, what is matter? Matter is anything which occupies space and has mass and can be perceived by our senses. We are going to take an example of matter. So, let me take a stone here. A water uh, better to take a stone so this is a stone so this is a stone so is stone matter yes this stone is matter this stone is matter how can you see we can compare this stone for definition of matter what would we Say for definition of matter, we are told that anything which occupies space and has mass and can be felt by our senses, we will call as perceived by our senses. So, these all things we are told for definition of matter. So, these all things we are going to compare for this stone. We have know that the stone is matter. So, we are going to compare the definition of matter to this stone so each stone occupies some space yes it does occupy some space it has mass yes it can we can measure it as mass it it can be feel by our senses perceived means feel can it feel by our senses yes it can feel by our senses so the stone is matter like that only everything around us is matter so look at some examples of matter here okay the first example is air. Air is also matter, water, hydrogen, oxygen, milk, oil, sugar, salt, etc. These all things are also matter, etc. Very important. If you write these things and if not wrote etc., it will be totally wrong because everything will be of matter. So actually matter actually matter is means all living and non-living things in the universe all living all living and all non-living things is also the matter in the universe is known as the matter now let's learn about composition of matter okay in the past indian philosophers consider matter was made up of five talvas means five consequence what are those five consequence namely akash vayu tejas jal prithvi okay but tejas is also known as agni very important thing agni later on mahashi kanada considered that matter to be made up of very tiny particles called hanu later indian philosopher mahashi kanada told that matter is made up of hanu Anu means in English that is molecules. Alright. Matter is made up of Anu told by Mahashi Kannada. He is Indian philosopher. Now it is established that matter is composed of very tiny particles called molecules which is nothing but Anu. And the molecules can exist free in nature and has definite set of properties of that substance. Let me learn about characteristics of molecules. So molecules are of four characters. So the first character is they are very small in size. Second, they have space between them. They are they are possess kinetic energy. They attract each other. These are the four 
important thing you must remember in the matter i'm going to tell again they are very small in size they have space between them they are constantly possess kinetic energy means they are constant kinetic energy means movement even it is a solid it will move you may think how the solid moves but solid vibrates in their means of position so solid are very tightly packed right so i'm going to write the diagram of solid here so solid does not move rather they are going to vibrate in their moon mean position that is also known as the kinetic energy so they attract each other this is very important that is intermolecular force of attraction we're going to discuss this so we're going to discuss the first thing that is they are very small in size the molecules is very small that it is 10 to the power of minus 10 meter okay it can only be seen in the help of microscope powerful microscope only okay so here is one experiment to show that molecules are very very small in size i'm going to put the video watch that the required water few crystals of potassium permanganate four to five beakers and finally three to four test tubes now it is time to see processor Take a beaker with clean water. Now add pinch of crystals of potassium permanganate and dissolve them thoroughly. Now take out approximately 10 ml of potassium permanganate solution and add to 90 ml of clean water in another beaker. process four or five times So what did you observe my dear children the observation is there's a change in intensity of color of the solution and the final conclusion is there are several tiny particles in just one crystal of potassium permanganate which are uniformly distributed in water to change its color and i hope you have watched the video of this let me go to the second properties of matter that is molecules of matter have space between them 
so the space between the molecules of matter is known as the intermolecular space very important thing then i'm going to ask you what is intermolecular space you need to answer the space between the molecules of matter is known as intermolecular space so these are less in solids so in solids intermolecular space is very less because they are very tightly packed very tightly very tightly packed so the intermolecular space is very very less they do not have very space they do not have any space between them so in uh, solid we can tell no intermolecular space no okay uh, i told this the solids have less intermolecular space and liquid have some intermolecular space and gases have more intermolecular space you remember the definition of intermolecular space they may ask for 2 to 3 marks very important thing let's we learn about molecules are in constant motion so the third property of matter sorry molecules is molecules are in the constant motion this is also the property of the matter as i said earlier so the molecules of matter are not at rest but they are constantly in motion in solid the molecules vibrate about their mean position without leaving their position i have told this in last last part only in solid the molecules are free to move within the boundary of container in liquid sorry in liquid molecules are free to move within the boundary of container in gas molecule can move randomly everywhere everywhere so in what happen in solid in solid what happen in solid in solid molecules just to and fro to and fro to they are go, not going to they will just vibrate like this like this they are go, just going to vibrate and in liquid in liquid molecules will going to go there go there go there and go there but in the container only we pick up kept in the cup in the cup only they are going to move like this but in the case of gas they are going to come here in the case of gas there is no restriction it can move here also it can be there here also it can be here also it can be here also it can come here also it can go here also it can go everywhere the the kinetic energy or movement the molecules are constantly in motion i hope this is clear for you all let me learn about molecules attract each other this is the fourth and the last uh, property of molecules there is molecule attract each other the molecules of a matter exerts a force of attraction to each other this force of attraction is known as intermolecular space what is intermolecular space intermolecular space is the attraction the force of attraction between the molecules very important so this is a molecule this is solid molecule i'm going to draw it this is a solid molecule so the solid molecules are attracted they are very attracted that is known as intermolecular force of attraction you should remember this these are the important points i'm giving you notes also you can write this force of attraction is known as intermolecular force so the molecules of matter exerts force of attraction to each other this force is known as intermolecular force if they ask you what is intermolecular force you need to tell the molecules attract each other that is known as intermolecular force in the term in the name only it is there inter molecular inter means inside intermolecular means tightly they are packed that is intermolecular intermolecular force of attraction attraction attractly intermolecular force of attraction intermolecular space intermolecular space means spacing you need to understand by that intermolecular force of at force of attraction means attraction attraction intermolecular space means spacing spacing okay i hope this is clear so by completing this we're going to end the video before that i'm going to explain you about 
the force of cohesion and force of addition force of cohesion force of addition let me learn about that the intermolecular force of attraction between the molecules of a same substance is known as force of cohesion what do you mean by that force of attraction between same particles so this is an particle of an plastic attraction between the particles of plastic particle this particle this particle this particle is attracted to this particle so this particle this particle is also of same kind so the attraction between the same kind is known as force of cohesion and and attraction between two different substances two different more particles two different particles attraction between the two different particles is known as force of addition let me read you a book once we are going to get it very clearly right so the intermolecular force of attraction between the molecules of the same kind is known as force of cohesion i have told that okay between the same particle cohesion between the different particles addition okay this is clear if they, this may be asked regularly this may be asked for four mark in your exam very important thing remember 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 now let we learn about state of matter i i cannot complete this bit within this video i'm going to complete this in next part of video so if you want to watch next part of video link will be given in the description okay link will be given in the description or else you can type in the youtube that uh, matter class class 8 part 2 okay that video will be coming okay